All right, it's happy hour. Shall we go ahead and get started? We'll see how long it takes people to join us. Welcome to Happy Hour. That was a jig by the name of Blarney Pilgrim. It's one of the tunes that we've been working on fitting in here and there in Fintan songs and uh, just decided to use that as our opener today. Um, that may be it for the fiddle today. We'll see how it all goes. Um, looking at some uh, other things here. Again, I don't do the virtual tip jar, but if you're seeing live streams of other people that are, please do consider tipping them. Um, a lot of those folks are professional musicians that obviously they're not playing in bars or restaurants or places like that because those are closed. Um, so in some cases, they don't have any other source of income. That's what they do as a job. Um, otherwise, I've posted just before starting this, maybe about a half an hour ago, um, one of the places that I've kind of chosen as one of my favorites for you to donate to instead of tipping me. And that's um, One Fair Wage. They um, kind of advocate for the service industry, uh, servers, hostesses, bartenders, um, all of the gig economy folks. Um, and they've set up a special fund for those uh, Im impacted by the coronavirus. So I'm hoping that you will uh, chip in there and help out those folks or, again, the tip jars of other musicians that you're enjoying their um, live streams of. Um, with that, I'm going to move on to um, some rather unfortunate news that's happened over the past couple of weeks. Uh, we lost a couple of musicians. Um, one is a fairly big name, John Prine. Um, I've put together a couple of, pulled a couple of his songs out that I'm going to do. Um, I think everybody Almost everybody has heard of Angel of Montgomery. Um, I'm not going to do that one because I don't feel that I would do it the justice of the artists that have recorded it over the years, like um, Bonnie Raitt, which was one of our favorite versions of that song. In fact, um, I knew that as a Bonnie Raitt song. I didn't know it as actually being a John Prine song. So I hadn't actually heard of John Prine until just a couple of years ago. Um, some friends down here in Florida uh, tuned me into him, and uh, the more I've listened to, the more I've liked. So here's one of his songs from 1986 called The Speed of the Sound of Loneliness. <laughs> straight and you come home curly 
right, I've got one more um, John Prine song, and then we're going to move on to other things. This song came out um, in 2018. It was one of his last songs on, was, I think, maybe his last album. Um, it was a 2019 Americana Song of the Year, um, as, a pair of port, uh, as opposed to American Music Awards. Apparently, there's an uh, Americana Music Awards, and they made this Song of the Year. It was also nominated for a Grammy. I'm going to take a moment. I see there's uh, several people on here. My son, AJ, Marion, Jeff, Gene. Uh, let's see. Lewis. A bunch of folks. I'm glad you're all joining in. It's happy hour. Have a beverage of your choice. Hopefully you've got that in front of you. If you don't, feel free to go get it. You should be able to still hear me if you wander off a little bit. So again, this song was nominated for a Grammy or a yeah, I think a Grammy, um, and it was Americana Song of the Year 2019. It's called Summer's End. That's my uh, tribute to John Prine. 
a folk musician for decades that passed away due to the COVID-19 coronavirus symptoms just a week or two ago. Another musician, a little lesser known, perhaps, that also passed away from the coronavirus. Um, his name is Adam Schlesinger. I don't know if uh, people might be familiar with the band Fountains of Wayne, but I'm sure that you're familiar with this song of his that was done by that band. Um, probably, you know, about 10 years ago, it was featured in some advertisements and all kinds of interesting places. not only was part of that band and created that song, but did a lot of movie soundtrack and other related um, TV show soundtrack songs, a bunch of other musical things. Um, we're going to move on to something a little more traditional, not quite um, as traditional as maybe the John Prine songs. Um, this one people ought to remember, especially if any of my family in Indiana or other Midwest folks. It doesn't really need much of an introduction. You'll start figuring it out really quick. And you're all welcome to sing along with any of these. Um, if you know the song, if it hasn't triggered you singing already, feel free to join in. Thank you everyone who's joining along for this happy hour event.
for you today. I've started to pull out some more of the classics. I've been all over the place with um, a lot of my music that we've been doing during these happy hours. Um, sometimes the classic ones are good ones and it all depends on where my ideas take me and they come from all directions. I hear something on a radio station or um, just have something pop, a lyric pop into my head, an earworm, who knows. So now, just to keep the variety going, we're gonna go back to a little Celtic tune. Um, like sometimes, I take advantage of an instrument that uh, is, uh, was a gift to me. A, a tenor banjo, that's the four string, no fifth magic bluegrass string, I guess, for lack of a better term. Um, so this is a little, another little jig called the swallowtail jig. Okay, let's see if we can get it to start now. just to give you all something different. Um, let's see. It's time to bring back another classic and let's see how it goes. This one's uh, 
kind of special to some of my Ohio friends, I think. And uh, we're going to go back to the guitar. I'm going to take a little sip of my beverage, and I hope that you all are staying hydrated on your own. So we'll see what this does. This is going to be interesting, but, you know, that's part of the fun here. We're all just going to enjoy this and have a great time. Let's see if we can get the capo to settle in. All right, several wrong notes for any chords because I'm just trying to make sure they ring. All right, so let's see what happens with this one. previous time. My first original, yeah, I'm scratching up my face, I know, I'm not supposed to be doing that these days, but you know, nerves, that's just the way it goes. So this is my first and so far only original tune, original song, wrote the lyrics, I stole the tune, like any good musician, borrow from everyone you can. Um, Authors, you know, sometimes people do that. Hopefully you put it in your own words. Or my lyrics, I put in my own words. So let's see. Because some days, and it's been kind of gray here today, which is kind of unusual um, here in Florida, but it's been a gray day and it kind of gets you down sometimes. So sometimes you just have those COVID social distance blues. Thank you. 
original. Um, I also had a friend that uh, put his own spit on the lyrics and, and uh, vocal tracks and managed to arrange the whole thing out and he posted it. I think I shared it a couple days ago. You can go back and look and see what other people are doing with my song already. All right. Well, I'm going to move on to my next tune. You know, lots of people do Beatles, lots of people do Eagles, lots of people do um, Creedence Clearwater Revival, um, Rolling Stones. Here's my little take. This is John Lennon. All right. Thanks to everyone who's joining me today. Um, I hope you're enjoying what you're hearing. Hope you're enjoying whatever beverage you've taken to uh, enjoy a lot with this happy hour. Whether it's water, whether it's tea, whether it's a soda pop, Coke, whatever, a beer in my case. Um, and this is a little John Lennon tune for you. Uh, kind of mid-tempo tunes and COVID tunes and other things. I'm going to finish off with a tune that uh, I think you'll all recognize. You notice I haven't told you a whole lot about what I'm playing before I play it. I think uh, a lot of tunes this time people know already. So let's see if how long it takes you to get this one. And again, I want to hear you singing along. Because this one I'm sure everyone can sing along with. And I think if enough of you Ohio, Indiana, Midwest folks start singing along, 
and the Florida folks down here start singing along and wherever the rest of you are from or at um, as you're watching this and enjoying your beverage. If all of you are singing along, I just might be able to hear you here. So let's see if we can do this. Great to see that you all have come and joined in. And uh, if you can't, if anyone who didn't catch it now um, if, or came in late, it's going to be available on my page to stream from the beginning if you want to see it again. Or if you missed part of it and you want to see it later. Um, or for those folks where this time really wasn't a convenient time for you to tune in. I want to thank you all for joining me. This is going to conclude today's um live stream from brian and we'll talk to you another time take care now bye